Hello there guys and welcome to Sports Guru. This is a brand new sports channel here on YouTube where we speak from cricket to football, rugby to golf, it doesn't matter. It's all about sports and opinion. And this week I thought I would uh, make my first video about cricket and in particular the new brand of cricket that's coming next summer called The 100. Now it's caused a lot of controversy. Um, Unless you've been living under a hole and you haven't heard, the 100 is a new tournament from the ECB, a new franchise tournament to be specific. Uh, they want to mirror the IPL and Big Bash and create that here in the UK. And uh, it had its big launch yesterday really with its new draft. Um, they, they each pick their players who they want to represent them next summer. So here I'll go through the squads and I'll give my honest opinion if I think the 100 will be good or not for cricket. So here goes. So the first uh, team that picked their squad, it was done like alternatively. But um, for argument's sake, let's just start with the list I've got here. And Trent Rockets, otherwise known as Nottinghamshire, playing at Trent Bridge. Um, the, the player they selected from England, each team could pick a central contracted player. Uh, they've gone with Joe Root and their squad is as follows. Joe Root, Rashid Khan, Darcy Short, Lewis Gregory, Alex Hales, Nathan Courtenail, Harry Gurney, Stephen Mullaney, Matthew Carter, Luke Wood, Tom Moores, David Milan, Ben Cox, Luke Fletcher and Luke Wright. So I got a fairly... Um, core of Nottinghamshire players um, so that's good for them let's go through the other squads uh, the Southern Brave what a bad name uh, and that is basically Hampshire and Sussex combined their, their central contracted player is Luke Wright they go with Andre Russell, David Warner Leon Dawson, James Vince, Shahid Khan Chris Jordan, Tymel Mills, Ross Whiteley, Delray Rawlins, Ollie Pope George Gordon, Alex Davis, Max Waller, and Craig Overton. So a fairly substantial group of Sussex's squad there. Next we have the Northern Superchargers, which I believe is Durham and Yorkshire, could be wrong. Uh, the central contract, Ben Stokes and Aaron Finch, Mahid, Chris Lynn, Adam Rashid, Adam Live, David Woolley, Richard Gleeson, Ben Fakes, Tom Cole Capmore, David Beza, Nathan Rimington, Brandon Cars, Ed Barnard, John Simpson, uh, the Welsh Fire, which is just Glamorgan and Somerset and Gloucestershire, uh, Donny Burstow, Mitchell Stark, Steve Smith, Colin Ingram, Tom Banton, Ben Duckett, Ravi Rampal, Simon Harmer, Kwashi Amid, Liam Plunkett, Ryan Tenderscarter, David Payne, Ryan Higgins, Danny Briggs, and Lewis De Plu. Oval Invincibles, which is Surrey and Kent, Sam Curran, Sapul Narai, Jason Roy, Sam Billings, Sandeep, Rasili Rairo, oh, sorry, Riley Russo, Tom Curran, Reese Topley, Hargis Viljern, Fabian Allen, Alif Blake, Will Jacks, Chris Wood, Nathan Souter, Laurie Evans, so a fairly a fairly um strong Surrey core for them. Next we have the Manchester Originals, which is basically just Lancashire, headed up by Just Butler. They've gone with Imran Tahir, Dane Bullas, Phil Salt, Tom Abel, Matt Parkinson, Saheed Mahmood, Dan Christian, Wayne Madsen, Wayne Parnell, Mitchell Santner, Joe Clark, Mush and Delang, Ed Pollock and Eddie Byram. London Spirit, which is pretty much Middlesex and Essex players. They've gone Paul Rory Burns, Glenn Maxwell, Owen Morgan, Mohamed Nabi, Mohamed Amir, Rollo van der Merv, Mark Wood, Joe Denley, Dan Lawrence, Mason Crane, Carl Abbott, Alan Rossington, Zach Rawley, Jade Dernbach and Lewis Rees. And then Birmingham Phoenix is basically any other Birmingham side that's not even Nottinghamshire. They've gone Chris Wakes, Liam Livingston, Mo Ali, Kane Williamson, Ravi Bapara, Benny Howe, Tom Howe, Shaheen Afridi, Pat Brown, Adam Hose, Cameron Delport, Henry Brooks, Adam Zappa, Ricky Vessel and Chris Cook. So they're the players that have been selected uh, from the counties and the overseas. Uh, some big names obviously haven't been drafted. The likes of Casido Labada, 
uh, Chris Gale, and then the likes of in county cricket, uh, the likes of um, Roland Jones, um, Stephen Finn, just to name a few. Uh, Will Beer at Sussex, quite a few high-profile county players that. The idea was to get county players to bin the hundred and it to be a big success. And the uh, 50 over competition, I believe, was due to be a developmental competition. So we'll see how that goes. I shall pop it on screen somewhere at the list of all the teams so you can see for yourself and see what you think of it. Is a hundred going to be good? I'm not so sure. I mean, I'm a traditionalist county cricket fan. Um... I was just disappointed when I heard that it's going to be married up with a 50 over competition given the fact England won the World Cup in 50 over cricket and they're putting it on the back burner really for some franchise tournament that no one knows how it's going to go. Um, I think the annoying thing is particularly for me, uh, I watch Sussex quite a bit and they've lost 10 players if you count Rashid Khan. And I think that's just decimated their squad. Okay, they get a bit of compensation by the ECB. But that doesn't really help people that want to watch decent county cricket. The idea of the 100 was to put the best domestic players in and create some sort of franchise tournament a la IPL, a la Big Bash. But I'm not sure it's, it's going to be really that well supported. Sure, you'll get the old few that will watch and see what it's like. But the interesting thing is, the higher thing trending on Twitter last night wasn't the 100 draft. No, it was a pose 100, which I know quite a few cricket journalists and BBC commentators are backing. So the idea of the 100 is it's going to run in July and August next year, in the middle of the summer. And as I said earlier... The 50 over competition will run alongside it, which I think is disrespectful for many cricketers. I just well, I just don't like the, the idea, to be brutally honest. Do I think it will be a success? Well, time will tell on that one. But from what I've seen so far and uh, the disgust that people have said about it, I don't think it will be uh, that good. Obviously, they've got all this money behind it. Which for me, they should have just put behind the 2020 blast and made that a more rounded competition. And there's no reason why Steve Smith and others couldn't come and play in the blast. They've created this new money monster, I'm afraid. And I think, sadly, it's going to be the death of county cricket in time. Unfortunately, you've already seen, as I mentioned, with Sussex and other players, that they've lost their squad's been absolutely torn apart. They've not really got any players left apart from fringe players for the 50 over competition. But if you compare that with Leicestershire, I know they're in the North group, but they've got their full squad. It just doesn't seem right to me. It's it's not cricket. It's not county cricket, and it's not something I can get behind. Anyway, I just thought I'll I'll. Give you my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Are you a 100 fan? Are you looking forward to it? Or are you like me? Just a purist and not a fan of it at all. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. This has been the first video. I'm sure it will get better from here. So if you watch it to the end, much appreciated. If not, I understand why. And thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time.